what's up guys uh, I'm on Betty <laughs> yeah I uh, have a couple more things to finish up on it but I was like you know what screw it we're hopping on it we're taking it for a ride and so far man it feels awesome uh, it's insane how much these bars make this thing feel more controllable it's way easier to steer and move um, and yeah it's it's fantastic so far like I said uh, don't look but gotta gotta still do that cover I'm on my third one making it so far so uh, screwed up some of the measurements but you know it's cheap acrylic plastic so we'll just keep trying it um, yeah one of the things I wanted to talk about was was Betty here uh, we haven't all my moto vlogs I just figured this out the other day have been on the Dyna and not on Betty here and and I've had this bike uh, I was thinking about it the other day since 09 so knowing me and know I like to tinker and like to improve stuff all the time uh, it, Betty's got a bunch of work done to it and when I originally bought this bike I actually traded a Sportster in for it uh, during the back this 08, 09, 10 somewhere in there when uh, Harley had their trade your Sportster in within a year of purchasing it and get a uh, get the full MSRP of what you paid for it so um, yeah I was wanting to get the wife to, to ride more so that's that's why we ended up with the bagger and this is actually a standard so this one didn't come with uh, any of the, the radio none of the speakers um, it didn't have the lowers no tour pack and I kind of just added that along the way over the years so yeah a lot of people confuse this bike as a as an ultra but it's 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 not um, one of the biggest things you can tell is the tank decal is almost a pink on the side of the tank and then the engine covers are actually uh, polished and not chrome all the ultras had the black motors with chrome covers but so yeah um, maybe a little rundown of the parts that are on Betty now <laughs> um, yeah the the last thing I did before the bars was this has the uh, Legend Axio cartridges up front and the Revo uh, rear shocks from Legends and man this thing like every Harley needs that suspension set up on it because it's it, it's it's amazing it's night and day difference and you just feel more confident man you can you, you can brake harder you can turn harder and every there's no there's no uh, there's no surprises it's all it's all predictable so it's great it's shout out to legends uh, sent him an email the other day about some merch and I don't know if that's gonna be a problem but my visor is making all sorts of noise <laughs> on this bike but yeah I sent legends a email about some gear like a t-shirt i just wanted a t-shirt and uh they actually said that they can uh send me free stickers no no charge i don't know if you have to buy something from them or if that's standard but yeah he said free stickers and they gave me the prices for the gear i just hadn't bought anything yet let's try to get over success yeah, let's get right here I love these bars, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. I was really unsure at first, uh, but just looking at it, like it felt really heavy. So the very first thing that I ever did to this bike. Uh, when I got it was I, I wanted the 21 front wheel I, back then you know baggers were humongous and 
the 21 was the big wheels. It was huge, you know. Um, now, not so much, but yeah, that was the first thing I did. Then I put a set of Wild One 12 and a half inch apes on it. And, and yeah, that looked great. I uh, got the little solo seat from La Perra, their bare bones, and it was awesome. And rode around like that for a long time. And then out of the blue, I said, oh, I want a rat fender, and put a rat fender on it, and then put a two and a one exhaust on it. And again, two, three, four years, rode it around like that. And wow. And uh, after that, decided that since this is a cam tensioner bike I better check those and and why not throw a set of cams in there to you know up the performance you're taking them out anyways you're taking the cams out so you know might as well put some cams in so there's some fuel moto with performance uh, I think they're TW6 cams which makes this thing sound nasty at idle so yeah, after that, uh, I think a, a couple years went by and then, yeah, I did the Legends front back, like I said earlier, and then the bars, man, um, which I'm absolutely loving. I think with the small little windshield on it and no tour pack, it's, it's dead nuts perfect, and I love it. So yeah, this is just a little ride after work, uh, figured... I couldn't wait any longer. I was going to wait till I got that cover over the ignition switch here uh, done, but I said screw it. I don't I don't care what it looks like. Plus, I needed to bust the cobwebs off this thing <laughs> that has been neglected since I got the Dino, but I don't know. I, I may have to let the Dino sit now with these bars because this thing is wicked fun. But I'm holding the side of the visor to hopefully kill all that if there is any audio crap. But yeah, I wanna I wanna thank Dirty D's again, man, because his his hatchback support movement that he did on YouTube is it's definitely worked for me. Um, I pretty much changed all my subscriptions to only motobloggers on YouTube, so that's that, that's all I'm doing is watching watching moto vlogs now on YouTube getting ideas from people and and interacting with people so it seems to be for the most part the guys that got onto that uh, the hashtag are, are really cool guys and uh, nobody is you know there's like zero drama so it was a really cool idea again by Dirty D's to check him out in Texas and and yeah it's 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 definitely worked for me for sure so Things fun now. <laughs> I don't think we'll be seeing any more Krause Mount T bar setups here in Nashville. <laughs> Me and Larry's bikes will be uh, one of one in this area, so I'm digging it. Uh, I was kind of iffy when I first did it, but. Yeah, love. I'm in love with the bagger again. <laughs> so yeah, guys, as always, um, I made this video a couple days early because I wanted to hop on this thing and not have to rush and edit a video. So as always, if you like what you see, hit subscribe. When you hit subscribe, a little bell will pop up on the right hand side of that. If you click on that, it will notify you when I upload a video. It sends you an email. And um, we want to get some interaction, man. Uh, how do you how, how do you guys like the setup? Does it look cool? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, yeah, yeah. Give me some give me some thought on that because I don't know. It's very rare. I've seen two other bikes on Instagram that had this setup, so. 
Uh, I didn't do it for that reason. I did it for the reason of more control, um, a little shorter, not as high bar, and the narrowness. Uh, the, the baggers apes that I had on here were like 40 inches wide, and I don't know, with a short waist and those wide bars, it was just kind of weird uh, riding it after after having T-bars on something. What are they doing? Get out of the road. Nobody's coming. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. As always, I love the support, man. Um, every video is getting more more likes more comments so i appreciate it i appreciate every every single one of you guys um and keep it coming i'll keep doing these videos like always because i love it take it easy